Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be memory planning and this is for the week of July 20th through the 26th and I'm actually so excited for this week's spread because I have this kit that I had been hoarding for a really, really long time. Um, this kit is from a shop called Two Red Crafters and I actually purchased this over four years ago now when I first started planning in 2016. It was one of the first kits that I ever purchased and I just never got around to using it. I just recently found it in my collection and it was perfect timing because we were on a road trip this week and so I definitely had to bust it out. This is kind of in like a really old, I guess, planning style because it's from so long ago and I'm not even sure if the shop is open anymore, but if it is, I will link it down below. So here we have the full boxes of the kit. As you can see, it is a road trip themed kit. We have some quote boxes here. Um, this little banner above the car says, the great American road trip. Here this box says, the mountains are calling. Oh darling, let's be adventures, which is probably my favorite. And then addicted to the road. Here we have the bottom washi, which I just absolutely love. We have this tree scene, as you can see. There's also a thinner strip with the mountains, but I'm not going to be able to fit both of those, so I think I'm just gonna go with the trees. We have this sheet of the um, date covers, which are so cute. We have some boxes here for the sidebar and then a weekend banner. On this page, we have the little things and some circle icons. Um, I love the deco pieces here. It's so cute. And we also have some three heart checklists, a date night sticker, and a happy day sticker. We have a ton of half boxes, which is awesome. There's 10 of them, as you can see, and each one has a little decoration in the corner. On this page, we have headers. Then we have some triangle checklists and washi strips. And the last page here has the full box checklist with the hearts. So um, there's definitely a lot of things included. It's like all different little sheets, which is nice because um, everything's kind of, you know, on its own thing. Um, I think that'll be really easy to work with. I'm super excited to use this kit, as you can tell. I just think this was so perfect for this particular week, and I feel like this is such a throwback to when I first started planning, and I'm so, so glad that I found this kit in my collection again. Um, I remember purchasing this. It was literally like maybe the third kit I ever bought. So yeah, super exciting, and um, let's just jump right in. As always, I start by placing down my bottom washi, and I know I mentioned this already, but I just absolutely love that scene with the trees. Then moving to my sidebar, I really quickly placed down a box in the top corner. I chose the one with the car because I felt like it was very symbolic of this week while we were on the road trip. Then I decided to move to the date covers, and even though I love the date covers that came with the kit, I actually decided to use the washi strip with the mountain scenery um, because I also really like that one, and I just thought it would create a really nice background in that top section. For the days of the week and also the date dots, I pulled in my script writing stickers from Planner Just For You, and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to get to use those stickers. Um, then once I'm done placing down all of that on top of the washi strip, I moved back to my sidebar and decided to decorate that top section with a few deco pieces. I feel like I always have such a hard time deciding on deco pieces. Some planner girls are so good at it and their deco just always looks on point and amazing. Um, for some reason, it's just always so hard for me. So anyways, I finally settled on something that I liked and then continued to build my sidebar. All the stickers I used are pretty much from the kit. Um, I think the only one I pulled in is the dinners header, which is from Planner Just For You. So that is also in my writing. I go ahead and move to Monday when I'm done with the sidebar, and for this week I decided to pull in some glitter headers, which I realized I haven't used in quite some time, but seeing as this is such a throwback kit, I thought that would be super appropriate. Um, so starting on Monday, I placed down some suitcase stickers that came in the kit to mark that we checked out of our hotel. We were staying in a small town in Idaho called Driggs, and we were heading to our next destination. So to mark our drive, I decided to use a couple deco pieces from the kit. I chose that large map sticker and then this banner that says let's hit the road. 
Underneath that, I placed down a little things and used this heart location icon from Sunset Sticker Co., which unfortunately I think is no longer open, um, but I used that to mark the next town that we stopped in. It was this super tiny town in Idaho called Stanley, and I think there was like a population of 62 people in that town, so it's super teeny tiny. They have like maybe two restaurants, and I just really, really loved that vibe. It was so much fun. Um, the first thing we did was grab some beers at the saloon, so I go ahead and use a beer sticker, and that one, I believe, is from Happy Sherpa Papery. I then used a full box, but because that full box is so printed, um, I decided to use a similar print half box on top so that you can read my writing. Um, that Jacuzzi Cat sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. I use that to mark that we went and checked out some roadside hot springs along the river. I think that's what the town is kind of known for. And yeah, it was really cool. We checked out a couple spots. Um, then I decided to add in that I took a nap. So I lifted up the full box and used the sleeping mask sticker that is from a shop called ML Scraps and I'll link it down below if the shop is still open um, and then once I'm done with that I go ahead and replace the full box and then at the very very bottom I used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we had some dinner and also some beers and drinks um, we sat right outside the little saloon in town and got to watch the sunset so that was super lovely on Tuesday, I first placed down a Today header, then I used a flag with this coffee sticker from a shop, I think that one is now closed, or she may have rebranded. It used to be Love for Stickers. Um, I think she's rebranded, but I can't think of the new shop name, but I used that to mark grabbing some coffee in the morning, and then underneath that, I used a washi strip with a Polaroid photo sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we stopped by and checked out Shoshone Falls, which is in Idaho. Um, it's like this really Really giant waterfall and I think they call it the Niagara Falls of the West. It's so beautiful. Um, and then underneath that I placed down a full box. I then used a little car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we made it to our next destination, which is Salt Lake City. And we actually met up with a couple of our friends there um, and stayed the night with them at an Airbnb. So um, I pulled in this Best Friends Munchkin sticker from Once More With Love. And then underneath that, I used a glitter header with a, I think it's a Little Things. That little meal icon is from Pretty and Primco. And then at the bottom, I used a board game sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we hung out and just played some games that night. On Wednesday, I first pulled in a quarter box, which is for my leftover stash. I realized that this kit did not come with any quarter boxes, which was really hard for me because I actually love using quarter boxes. So yeah, I definitely had to dig through my leftover stash. I used that to mark that our friend made some breakfast that morning and the egg sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. Then I used a deco piece from the kit to mark that we drove to our next and last destination on this trip. Um, we were just stopping by Vegas on the way home and on the way, we actually ended up listening to a book on tape. We had kind of gone through all of our music, so we decided to listen to something instead. Um, so to mark that, I used a flag and this book sticker from Pretty and Prim Co. I put down a full box at the very bottom, then used a little things with a house icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark checking into our hotel. And then we decided to do a little date night, which I marked using a half box. And um, this date night script sticker is in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. And then this cute couple icon is from Fox and Pip. We then checked out Fremont Street, which is in downtown Las Vegas. We've actually never been down there, even though we've been to Vegas several times. Um, so that was really interesting. Definitely some unique characters out there, um, but we had a good time. On Thursday, I started by placing down a full box at the very top. Then I used another quarter box from my leftover stash and a coffee sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint to mark that I found a Dutch Bros in Vegas, which is super exciting because that is like my favorite coffee place and they don't have any locations by where I live. So I definitely had to grab some before we headed out of town. Then to mark our drive home, home sweet home, um, I used a car sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. 
My sister and her boyfriend had actually housed that for us while we were gone and they decided to stay a couple extra days just so we could see them because I haven't seen her in quite some time. Um, so we ended up grabbing some lunch together and I used a half box with this taco sticker from um, a happy blue tree to mark what we got for lunch. We actually got Mediterranean food, but I don't have any good stickers for that. So I decided to use a taco instead. And then at the very bottom, I used a to-do header with a three triangle checklist to mark some things that we did that night. Um, we went to a couple grocery stores, grabbed some dinner, and then we played Mahjong. So um, I had to pull in a Mahjong sticker from Hazel Sticker. On Friday, I first placed down a glitter header at the very top. Then I used another three triangle checklist to mark a couple grocery stores I went to that morning. I was looking for something specific and they were just out at a couple locations. And so I did have to go to a few spots. Um, that grocery icon I pulled in is from a shop that is now closed. We then played Mahjong that afternoon, so I pulled in another Mahjong sticker from Hazel Sticker, and then underneath that I used a full box, and then again, because this full box is so patterned, I used the same patterned half box on top so I can write on it, and I used that to mark going to the beach. Um, we decided to do a beach day because my sister um, hasn't gone to the beach in like years, and so it was definitely a fun little outing. That Sandcastle sticker is from Very Cute Designs. We then did Korean barbecue at home that night, um, which was delicious. Um, that Korean barbecue sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And then at the very bottom, I used a half box with a phone icon from Bubba Bear Studios to mark that we had FaceTime our parents that night because they always love seeing us get together. So we definitely had to call them and just do a little family chat. Um, and that was it for Friday. Moving on to Saturday, I first placed down a today header, then I used a little things with a car icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we had to go return our rental car, which we had rented for the road trip. And then underneath that, I used a half box and I layered a couple flag stickers on top of it just to hide the little icon because I didn't really need that. And the boba sticker I pulled in is from Hazel Sticker. Um, we had like this super like random epic lunch where we got boba and Arby's and my sister cooked. So it was like quite a random feast. Um, then at the very bottom, I decided to work backwards so I knew how much space I had to mark everything. Um, I used a little things with a sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a lazy night. And then I used a full box on top of that. The YouTube binge sticker is in my writing, so that's from Planner Just For You. And then the cat on a laptop sticker, I think is from a shop called Raspberry Designs. I then put down a strip of washi and pulled in another Mahjong sticker from Hazel Sticker because we played more Mahjong. Um, we are super obsessed, as you can tell, my sister and I grew up playing it, and so we just love any opportunity that we get to play. Um, then we had to say goodbye to my sister and her boyfriend because they were heading home. That crying emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I did start a new puzzle that day, so I used this puzzling munchkin from Once More With Love. On Sunday, I first placed down a glitter header, then I used the last full box in the kit, and underneath that I used a little things. I covered up the icon with this puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You. That was actually a custom that she made me. Um, I believe she is doing like different subscriptions that you can get, and one of these subscription levels includes custom stickers, so that's definitely an awesome way to get a sticker that you may have a hard time finding. Um, then we did a ton of cleaning, so I pulled in the spray bottle sticker, which is from Dizzy Days dreams. We then had a couple friends over to play board games. Um, it's been a while since we've seen them and um, it was really good to catch up and just get together. We played a new game called Root, I think, and it was really, really fun. That board game sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. And then I also placed down a checklist underneath just as a little reminder of what we had done that day. Um, also because I had a ton of space left over. And then at the very end of the night, we watched the new Zac Efron show on Netflix. Um, I love Zac Efron. He's definitely in my top five but I actually didn't like the show as much as I was hoping I would. Um, I don't know, there was just something that didn't really pull me in, but I think I'll just have to give it another try. Um, I used some deco stickers in the kit to mark that just because I had a ton of space left over and also quite a few deco pieces left. And before I move to my sidebar, the last thing I do is I place down this wild and free text sticker and I just decided to put that over the full box on Tuesday because there was some empty space. 
I go ahead and fill out my sidebar tracking all my happy moments and my dinners. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. Um, I did use quite a bit, but this was quite a full kit. So I have a ton left over, which will be included for my next leftovers giveaway. Now I'm just giving you guys a closer look at the spread. And for this week, I, again, like last week, decided not to pull in any foils. I really kind of wanted to keep it like an old school planning style kind of before foils came around. Um, and I feel like it definitely um, reminded me of kind of the older spreads that I used to do. So that was really fun. I really enjoyed putting this together and um, just kind of using a kit that was a bit different. So yeah, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me and I hope Hope you guys also enjoyed um, joining me for my little road trip adventure. I know a few of you guys had said that it felt like you were on the trip with me, which makes me so happy to hear because I just really love getting to share my life with you guys. And I'm just super thankful that you're all here with me. So that is it for this week. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying these last few weeks of summer. Um, and with that, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.